Vigor continues his journey of discovery, taking in Germany's top tourist attractions. Today, he's off to an unusual location southeast of Berlin. The Spreewald Forest in Brandenburg is famous for its labyrinth of rivers and canals. The Spreewald's famous waterways have more than 300 branches and extend over a total of 1,500 kilometers. Tourists have been flocking to this former swamp and moor region since the mid-19th century. 500,000 of them come every year. But how did the labyrinth of waterways originate? The devil passed through here on a plow. I think the water carved its way through here due to flooding. Because the Germans like to complicate things. <laughs> Spreewald tourists enjoy exploring the waterways by punt or canoe. But if you head off without a guide, it's very important to take a map with you. It's very easy to get lost. Vigor likes to get involved in the life of the regions he visits, so this time he's signed up as a trainee ferryman. Traditional punts are still used to transport goods here, and Vigor's first job is to help ferryman Fritz Kulowitz load some hay. And because the water isn't very deep, you can steer your boat with a long pole. It's called punting. Punting is pretty hard work, so why don't you just get a motorboat? Because it's not permitted. Because of the noise. And because there are too many boats around. There would be chaos, and we could easily collide with one another. Punting looks a lot easier than it is. Steering is especially difficult. You have to hold it a bit lower down. That won't work. So how am I doing? Well, you can't expect to learn it in a day. You need a few more days, but you're OK. Watch where you're going. The locals also use punts to get around. The tradition here in the Spreewald is very interesting, but isn't it a bit inconvenient? This is no longer the main form of transport, but sometimes we still bring in the freshly mown hay by boat or transport cattle. But getting a cow into a punt isn't easy. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> and steering a fully loaded punt is hard work. The Spreewald is also famous for its pickled gherkins and its traditional costumes. Vigor is getting a crash course in how to dance the Anna Marie polka. Well, for tradition, I have to give five stars. The choice of puns instead of motorboats is a major contribution to sustainable living. For nightlife and action, this is not the place. This is more a place for relaxation. So, zero points for excitement. And finally, for educational value, I give four stars. I have learned to steer a boat with a long pole. A very useful skill. Time for Vigor to hit the road again. The next destination awaits on his continuing journey through Germany. Land of loveliness.